G'day guys, Cam here from thefishroom.co.nz and today we're doing an update on the Blackwater project. But before we go too far into this project video, uh, I just need to say that I'm looking for a couple of uh, YouTube people to uh, do a couple of collab videos with me uh, I've got a bit of a project on the run so it doesn't really matter what country you're in or what kind of fish you like or anything like that we're just looking for a couple of people to do a, a few videos with um, preference on you running your own aquarium store but it doesn't really matter if you don't whatsoever um, everyone will benefit in the hobby from the project that I'm hoping to unroll so fingers crossed it goes good if you are interested, hit us up on our Facebook page, The Fish Room NZ, um, and I'll you know, send us a message on there and I'll get back to you, or you can just leave us a message in the comments down below and I'll work out a way of directly contacting you. Excellent. Let's get on with this Blackwater project. All right, so here's the tank. It's a bit grubby, as you can see. So today I'm going to give it a clean out. I'm probably going to put a bit of a black back paint a bit of black background on the back of it and we're going to talk about the filtration that I'm going to use within it all right let's start all right so I've scooped the substrate out now I'm just giving it a quick rinse off with my hose um, I'll get some filter floss and give it a clean on the inside around these marks it might need a little bit of white vinegar to clean it off I'm not sure but that'll be enough water for now I'll scrub it off you don't probably need to see any of this but I'm just quickly running through what I'm doing. This is part of the substrate that I'm going to be using. Um, I've got the peat that I showed in the last video that's going to go in there as well and I might find a little bit of fluorite or something like that just to uh, give a little bit of texture as well. So I've got my handy dandy uh, filter floss here. This stuff is absolutely brilliant for cleaning aquariums. Uh, we've done a video on some tips on how to keep your aquarium clean. This is in there. I will link it somewhere up here. Uh, check that out when you get a chance but let's clean off this tank. Sweet, I'm not going to need any vinegar. It's not calcium, it's just crap builder. See exactly how effective these things are. Really, really good. go one very nicely freshly cleaned project aquarium it's pretty simple just the filter floss didn't need any uh, white vinegar or anything it wasn't any calcium build up or anything like that on the inside it was just a bit of crap I just say that word on YouTube oh well I just have again um, right so that's nice and clean let's talk about the filtration for this tank I've decided to go with a Hamburg style uh, matten filtration system so, pretty much, it's either going to go directly across the tank, like so, and then have um, an airlift coming up through and over top of it, or I'm going to cut it down and put it right into the corner and have a similar thing. Um, so the reason behind using this system as opposed to anything else is that I want to be able to hide my uh, heater that's going to be in the tank. You can't really do that by using internal filters or anything like that. Okay, so I might have it up. So I want to be able to hide my um, heater. And I think that this style of filtration uh, it can be hidden really easy and then that's kind of what I want to achieve. So I might just end up being dab smack in the corner like so. As as the filter gets older, it will change to a darker colour, which will then in, build itself right into the tank itself. So the wood still ain't sunk. No more updates other than that. My stack of peat is all good though. It's mixed in nicely, so that's ready to be chucked into the substrate. Eventually when the wood gets done, because that's all that I'm waiting on now. Got two aquariums that I'm water testing. I've got some fish coming in that I'm going to quarantine before I go any further. 
So I'm just going to run a couple of air stones on them, quarantine them for a few weeks before I do anything with them. Um, I know what I'm doing in this tank. Uh, I don't think I've told anybody yet, but that's all right. But I know what's going in there. So good times. All right, so we've made our way to Bunnings. Grabbed a can of spray paint on the advice of the Bunnings people there. I was thinking that a rolling paint would be better, but I reckon the spray paint's going to work better for glass. So we'll go with the spray paint. Uh, I'll give it a clean off with meths, and I'll give it a spray, spray paint, and then our black will be all done towards the back. Just giving her a quick clean off with methylated spirits. Meth dries really fast and cleans really well. With a small chip just up at the top edge there. Um, so I don't want that at the front. When I say a small chip, it'll never be noticed at the front or the back. But on the side, I don't want this at the back anyway. And these front joints here are slightly better than these back joints, so I want as nice and tidy at the front as possible. So that's why this one here this is my back. So that's one coat done, and you can still sort of see through it, which I think is kind of cool, particularly for what we're doing. So what I might do is once it's dried off a little bit, I might flick it around and see what it kind of looks like from the inside, and if it looks kind of cool, I might just leave it with one coat with a little sort of shadowy look as opposed to full black, but if it doesn't look good, I will coat it again. Okay, so it's one coat through. And I don't think I'm going to be happy with one coat. I'm going to give it another one. Obviously there's quite a large patch there. But just in general I think it'll look a little bit odd. So I'll do a second coat on it. And we'll go from there. Though, maybe if I just load up that corner there a bit more. What time it's a bit darker. No, we'll do the whole thing. A few moments later. So, that's two coats. Still looking equally patchy. I have to go a third. Twelve seconds later. See, it's very deceiving because when I've got the towel over to stop the overspray, it looks alright. But as soon as I take it off, it's quite patchy. Keep going. Eventually. So there we go. Nice and painted. Four coats of spray paint. Bit dusty again. That's come up really well. Uh, the lighting in my garage isn't isn't too good, so it's about hard to see, but it's actually come up really well. Really happy with that. So we've now got a back to go with everything else. Excellent. Okay, so there we go. There's an update of the Blackwater project that I'm doing. We've now got the back of the background black. Um, I have decided on my filtration, but I'm going to change my mind a that already. Oh, I've got my uh, hardscape sorted out, substrate sorted out. Um, all we've got to do now is fish. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it and get it cycled. So it's coming along quite nicely. Um, I've got some fish coming in. They're going to be in quarantine fairly soon. So as soon as they're arrived, actually as soon as that wood gets waterlogged, we're away laughing. So basically that's all I'm waiting for it for the time being. All right, now we're at the end of the video. I'm going to announce uh, the theme that I'm going to go for this um, natural aquarium. So I'm going with an Asian themed um, aquarium. So I've got a bunch of crypts here. 
Uh, looks a bit murky, but I've been poking around in this tank all day long, so everything's been stirred up a bit. So I've got Balenze, Winter Tea, I've got some Athenus there, and there's a Sialata sitting in there as well. So they're the crypts to be sort of front, middle, back type of thing. Just one or two poked around, give a little bit of colour, a little bit of uh, variation. And I'm getting some Raspora and some Coolie Loaches for the bottom. And as soon as I can find some chocolate garamis, that's going to fill the shit off as well. So it'll be Raspora, Coolie Loaches, chocolate garami, black water, wood, leaves, and three or four different species of crypt. And that will be my little project black water tank that's going to be sitting in my dining room. Done. Right, so I've changed my mind on the filtration. Um, I've been playing around with uh, that foam and it's just too big for the size aquarium that it is. I really want to do it, but the tank itself I think is going to be too small. So I think I'm going to have to go with a hang on back filter and just suck it up as far as having a heater uh, visible in the aquarium. It's not what I wanted, um, but it's just going to have to be what it is. So I'm going to get myself a hang on back filter and uh, we're going to filter it with that, unfortunately. So, uh, you know, matten style filter will just have to be another day.